a ban list happened this week. Hmm? Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today we are joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. That was a really deep hello. <laughs> was it? A little. It was. I don't know where to go from that. We can <laughs> uh, And for the first time, and depending on how this goes, perhaps the last, <laughs> Leo. Hi, all. Uh, so Leo is one of our uh, local people. Um, Give people a history of yourself. Yeah, I was video. about to do that. I didn't. I was going to warn you beforehand <laughs> so you could like think about it a little bit. But yeah, tell us about yourself. So why I'm should we give Leo? you this job? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh since when I was a kid. I started when the game came out first, and I com- I play competitive since the Spiral um, meta when I. Good format. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful format. Uh, when I after that I, I quit and for about four years, and I came back playing last year. So I'm still a little bit new with the last latest uh, ex- releases. But no, you're good for latest releases. You've, you've been yeah, but between the spiral format ah. and. Yeah. Was, he decided to Eldridge. enter the format with. I started uh, with Eldridge. Branded <laughs> best deck and it's uh <laughs> it's i think got more interesting from there yeah because he started at the bottom <laughs> um so how was our well, weekend well, well, technically man has topped bulgarian nationals yeah he did was yeah. that in spiral format no it was in zodiac format yeah uh, it was okay. top eight bulgarian format uh, bulgarian that's National. before spiral format that was before but i was playing <laughs> the timelines don't match oh. up here leo <laughs> No, no, but that's good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, so you started playing, or you'd got your best top in a tier zero uh, mirror match dependent format, yeah. and then we're back here again. Uh, so how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Us all three tier element Shizu players. Yeah. How, I, I milled some stuff sometimes, and I milled <laughs> some stuff that was bad other times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds like most matchups. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, how did I go on Monday? Uh, Tuesday. But Tuesday I. No, I did really bad, didn't I? I don't remember you doing well. No, I went X1 on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went X1 on Tuesday, and then I went X1 again today. Yeah, one day I'll figure out how to make this deck work for (laughs) every round at Locals, but until then... Yeah, no, apparently not. My my losses this week have been, like, to ridiculously bad hands. Mm -hmm. So, like... I know the feeling. My loss on Tuesday (laughs) night was to, like, opening... Two traps, three Ashizu names that weren't able to be summoned to the board. So it was like double kill back, Agito, trap, trap. And I was like, hmm, that's a problem. That was my round one. I opened up both games and I was like, this is fucking terrible. And then today, I lost die roll to Luke for my loss. He opened full combo and I just couldn't play through it. And then game two, I opened uh, triple kill back, oh, yeah. uh, Herald, and. Uh, continuous spell card scream mm-hmm. and I normaled the herald got impermed and was like and I scoop <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that was my week in UQ apart from that my, my wins were good I beat Jake and that was funny that was a good <laughs> match I genuinely enjoyed that match yeah. I feel like you didn't no. but how was your week in UQ uh, on Tuesday I start pretty bad I lost against True Draco yeah the True Draco guy because I didn't have any on the side against him I only had zombie war but it wasn't enough for game 3 so I lost that but then I went X1 and today X1 as well I lost the final the last game against Orso, Uh just because I he top deck a war monster and he had Taya so couldn't do much but that is uh, so Tuesday I won uh not through any merit of my own it would have gone to a fourth round uh had the other x1 not lost so it was only by that benefit um that that happened and because of um certain people needing a certain number of points i shouldn't have uh tried to win as much in <laughs> yes. my third round for his benefit but because i didn't i ended up winning so you know yeah. so don't call him needs locals wins kurt for nothing <laughs> <laughs> did he get any today no, today he went X3. So it, doesn't that like pleasant. effectively put him out of contention unless yeah, he goes second, like second, yeah. winning every... He, he does now, I think, need to win three rounds at every Locals. Yeah, oh, God. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really hard. Mm. 
Uh, and then today I went X2, uh, two mirror matches, both of which I played rubbish. I played <laughs> abs- well, actually, in fairness, one of my hands against you was like, it was really bad, fucking awful. Uh, triple, Runo. Uh, triple Rano, mm-hmm. uh, Scream, and uh, one of, yeah, Drewus Worm. Uh, it's problematic, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do enough. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Although I, so I'm at the moment I'm playing the two Rano Heart, two Herald package. I kind of want to put it to three Rhino Heart because I feel like I'm not seeing Rhino Heart enough. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, so I'm also playing two Merly. I also feel like I should be playing that at three. I don't know. Maybe I put those in because I've already started playing new ban list. Spoilers, we're going to talk about that in a second. Yeah. But I have, yeah, I've cut the Heralds down to one and then I'm playing two Triple Talents instead. I might take those out and put in the other two tier names just to give myself a little bit more consistency. Mm-hmm. See how it goes. Because those are both normal summons that would have helped all of my brick situations this week. Yeah. I'm playing only two Rhino Hearts and not a Diviners. Yeah, but okay. I, I don't like Diviners anymore. Even even if I'm still playing with three Orange Lights. Yeah. Still don't want to play the Diviner. We, I'm also citing two Green Light, though. Yeah. <laughs> two Green Light. Actually came up at one point and it won me a game. But hey sometimes it's gonna come up and it's gonna be really good other times it's not yeah there is that um yeah i've not put a lot of energy into this build because by the time i actually got the issues of fairies like i put a deck together had it for like one locals and then the band list got announced i was like well i won't be fucking around with this for a while let's just <laughs> wait so on this on this subject jake today played two orange light didn't play three orange light didn't play one orange light like there is in the new band list. Just played two. <laughs> you put it back. You get it back later. It's fine. But you played 47 cards. No, no, I wasn't playing that many. It was an exaggeration. How many? Are you playing above 40? Yeah, 42. Just cut the orange light. <laughs> I didn't want to cut the orange light. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. Anyway, it came up for me, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it came up. But you're not preparing for the future. Because I don't have to. Well, then just play three if orange some, If someone said you had to cut off your hand by October 2024, 20, would you cut it off now? No. <laughs> no, I'd use, I'd use the hand, it. Jake. I'd use it. Yeah. I wouldn't use half of it. No, two-thirds he used. <laughs> you've, you've effectively cut off the tops of your fingers, and you're like, I still have this hand until 2024, see? <laughs> Yeah, and I still it still worked. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna pick something up every now and then with half a hand. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, uh, we do have a ban list that uh, we can discuss. Uh, and that is the ban list for Duel Links. <laughs> <laughs> Get the, baited. The biggest ban list ever yeah, released. Clearly, though. clearly. Uh, so, if you weren't aware, Duel Links, effectively, they have very few bands I don't think they've ever like banned banned a card yeah because they have a reverse ban list where it's like yeah so cards, cards of one you one... can only play one of any of those cards on the list yeah two any two of them <laughs> three any three of them and then unlimited okay so yeah it's a little bit odd but basically these cards have been added to the one of list uh Salaman Great Gazelle and Salaman Great Raw that lasted so long so long. wait you can't send Raw off Gazelle no because you can only play one or the other yeah Yep, yep, yep. Uh, enemy sure. controller. Um, I think it's misjudging. Is it that one? Why head judging? Why head is judging. that at one? I don't know. It's it's duelings, Ben. Who it's knows? Ultra, it's what also an it? ultra rare. It is an game. ultra. It's, I think it's like a no, coin flip to negate. Oh, oh, true. Yeah, arcane is a skill. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, treacherous trap hole. I'm assuming that um, it's a lot easier to make. Um... No, they must be preparing for Pepe format. <laughs> uh, Dark Lord Ixchel going to one, and uh, World Legacy Whispers, uh, which, if you were aware, was the spell negate for Mech Knights because uh, Mech Knights were recently introduced um, in a capacity that actually makes them work. Well, what is? No, I guess putting that to one maybe stops them from playing other tech cards. Like you can't play Econ anymore if you're doing that. Yeah. yeah, but true. in saying that, I think if all of the other ones are there, like the Monster Negate and the Trap Negate, they don't need anything else. <laughs> they don't need well, tech cards. So, also after all this time, I'm impressed that Econ's back on the ban list for Master Duel, or for Duel Links. 
Because mm-hmm. that card was like really good day one. Same with Treacherous Terrapult. Those have both been on the ban list before, and now they're back on the ban list. Yep. Okay. What else um, got? To two, we have Lady Debug. Okay. Just really yeah. dunking on the Sabus. Fuck him. Um, to three, we have Holy <laughs> Salamangre Circle. How good was Salamangre <laughs> in that game? I think it was too consistent. And like you're dealing with a 20 card deck, so you're going to see pretty much every card you need yeah. to. Yeah. Um, we've got one of the six amps. Which one's that? That's a bad one. Yeah. Well, it's Duel Links. What do you want? <laughs> well, they also put Dojo to three. They did. You just play three Dojo. <laughs> so you just don't play this one at all. Um, uh, maybe. I think that might have been like the attack anyone. Maybe. Which in Duel Links is yeah. busted. Uh, then, no longer on the list, we have uh, Cosmic Cyclone, Invocation, yeah, uh, Ragged Gloves. Yep. Yeah. Why am I going back? I said you're back. Oh, I was never in. Uh, <laughs> invoked... I thought you had invoked in that game. Did you not? I never, I've never. i never had that game. Okay. Um, <laughs> invoked Magalanica. Um, Gagaga Head. Whatever that is. Um, two of the Shiranui cards. The one that like pops oh, something. I, that was when I stopped playing. When those cards got hit on the ban list. It's back then. I stopped playing that game. <laughs> uh, so they're back. Um, Necros of Valkyrus back. And uh, GNX Controller. Also back. Mermaid. No, it's at this point that I've realised that they put Gen X controller to one just so you couldn't play other tech cards if you were playing the Gen X Undyne package. Makes sense. That's so dumb. <laughs> uh, so this all comes into effect as of December 8th, which is next Two weeks. Friday. No. Oh no, the Friday after. December 8th. Yeah, yeah. That's so not... further away than a different ban list. Yes, uh, so the ban list that we have discussed recently um, will come into effect, uh, is it Thursday? Friday? Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday? Wait, comes into effect Tuesday. Is it? No. Comes into effect on the first, right? Oh, Tuesday is the last, no, Thursday. Thursday. I don't know. Thursday. Sorry, I, I just get, wanted to get dates out. I get one more day. Oh, one more locals where I don't have to you can uh, play change two, my deck. You can play two Aura. Uh, yeah, you get to play your two Heralds, mate. <laughs> I'm going to play three. Fuck Good. <laughs> Good, you're just proving my point. Play three or play one? No. Nah, I'm going to play five. Uh, so, the impact of this list hasn't been felt yet, but what are we feeling will be the changes that most decks will have to make? I feel... So this ban list is dumb as fuck. But I want to hear Leo's opinions because Leo hasn't been given hasn't given his opinion True. on the ban list yet. True. What are your thoughts, Leo? Uh, I don't like the ban list. First of all, I really don't like it. I was hoping for at least dimensional shifter limited. Not even not asking for for it to be banned, but at least limited. They went the other way. <laughs> yeah, they went the other way, and they were like, "Here you go. You can have all the dimensional feature and Marcos you want." Uh, I don't think it's gonna impact the meta that much. Probably Flander is gonna start maining the D Fishers. I don't see them playing the macros too slow and it's not searchable or anything. Uh, other than that, probably some Exo Sister will start playing them as well. Uh, Ptolemyo is not gonna be played. It requires too much extra decks. Well, Not I've, by most people, however. <laughs> I've already figured out how to break it. <laughs> I can turn skip uh, with it. Uh, I, think I, I think I saw a video on YouTube about to do this turn skip with Lirilovsk and Tri Brigade. Oh, I don't know that one. You can do it with 6 hand really easy. Yeah, I think there was like a Lirilovsk you can transfer the materials, over. materials yeah. over under it. There we go. But it looked kind of breaky, so I don't know. Mm. I think the meta is going to be exactly the same. Maybe a little bit more Flanders in the I was going to say, I feel like the conversion rate for tier won't be as high just because yeah. on variants, some of them will just get completely screwed over by someone dropping a D fissure yeah, exactly, and yeah. all that kind of nonsense. Um, so, as your point brought up as well, I feel like spell and trap removal is going to be a lot more My important point, now. I brought it up literally as we were about to start filming this, and I was like, this is a bad <laughs> point to bring out right as I'm about to start filming this. I think yes, then I stole it. <laughs> I would have named, I'm gonna definitely side deck Lightning Storm this format. Yeah. Just because it's already a very good card against Flonda. And to also just be able to mass out all of those banishy back rows, it's gonna be like, boop, gone. Thank you. Let's play. Yeah. Um Yeah. It also just naturally outs Flonda's attack position stuff, so yeah. you can be like, yep, activate, get rid of that shit. 
Let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm planning to play three Lightning Storm and three Twisters. Because yeah. Twister will discard also your Ishizus. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. And also you can just set it on your turn if you go first. And then just flip it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. also like the idea if you're like thinking of Thunder specifically, like Lightning Storm's great against both the back row and the monsters, but Twin Twist is great if you need to just like spot removal yeah. like, one or two back row and Maybe then the Lightning map Storm and the monsters the before spell. they can yeah. do their thing. Or we play Herald of the Green Light. <laughs> <laughs> That's assuming you haven't been D shifted already. Yeah. True. Yes. I just thought Green Light's just such a good deck card against those decks. Also it comes up against uh, branded. Mm -hmm. If you ever come up against someone playing branded, they activate branded fusion. You go whoop, green light. Do you even need to decide against branded? Most of the time you don't. I feel yeah. like it's not. It's more going second, just to give you some kind yeah. of reaction. Mm -hmm. If you can green light their branded fusion and then mill five, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, um, I found the mirror match, or not the mirror, rather the versing of branded when you're playing the Ishizu build is not difficult. No, 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 no. If as, if you have even just one of the shuffleback cards, yeah, it just completely stuffs up the brand of fusion. Yeah, you can just go with Rook Carlos, and that's it. Unless Lost is on board, yeah, then it gets awkward. That's right. You have green life for it. You've already <laughs> negated the Lost. We're also doing this theory in the fact that I've lost almost every die roll for the past three weeks. So, yeah, your die rolls have been garbage, but you wanted to die roll against me. Yeah, thus I won. <laughs> I opened very well. Though. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that comes into effect Thursday. Uh, there's no major tournaments between now and then, is there? Other than our YCS. Nah, there is. A, there is a couple of remote YCS. Yeah, there is mm. that. Yeah. I think there are two between. There's a YCS Where happening right now. Yeah, so I know, but it's not under the new ban list. Yeah. Yeah, true. What a waste. Yeah. Imagine going to that ban and that YCS and knowing that once the weekend's over, you're uh nothing mattered. It's I'll, almost I'll like how the idea of them leaving every year. <laughs> yeah, well pretty much. It's um I like the idea of them leaving San Jose, um, in that arena and all of them just setting fire to Mystic Vines out the front in like a big bonfire. <laughs> That won't happen, Jake. You know there's going to be people in that room that are, like, crying as they activate their Mystic Mine in round 10. Yeah. Like, the final time I get to do this, activate. <laughs> I am I swear I'm not a scumbag. I round pass. 9, because there are not enough players. Ah, yes, only round 9. Yeah, so, um... <laughs> 600 it's, players for this no, event? 445. 45 players. So, yeah, that is the turnout for <laughs> San Jose. But they still get written coverage. Yeah, they do. Australia, we've sold out our tickets, so we have at least a thousand. Uh, uh, see, nothing. we don't have a player. I don't know how many tickets they were doing. We're doing more than 400. Are we? We have to have. You've seen the room that that event's being hosted in. Yeah. I uh, was also there in the year. first YCS that you and I both attended, and there was 1,200 people there. Is it bigger? Yeah, and it was it's fucking full. <laughs> is it bigger than yeah. the one from the Oceanic? Yeah. Okay. It, well, that was actually that was also like two hundred fifty mm. players. It's not that much bigger, mm. but we fit a thousand people in the room at one point. It was bad. Like <laughs> also, didn't they just renovate that stadium? Yeah, but I don't think they renovated that area. <laughs> just saying, like they could have changed the layout of the room. No, no, no. It was. It would be the same room. They might have given it a fresh coat of paint, made it not smell like the inside of someone's shoe. Well, that'll well, change the second YCS yes, happens. Yes, it will. <laughs> those bathrooms are gonna. Like, those bathrooms are so bad. Well, hopefully, someone doesn't need to ditch their pants in there again. <laughs> oh, you might know. You don't know. You don't know the story. I don't know the story. Uh, yeah, someone shit their pants and left in the bathroom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're just <laughs> walking in underwear. <laughs> well, shit themselves in a YCS. Well, well we the never fuck? found out who it was, but like it, the news spread like wildfire. <laughs> Like, I just remember some dude walked out, and it was like, some, someone, sh <laughs> someone shit their pants. And we're all the, trying to the, work it out. We're like, wait, who was wearing pants and is not wearing pants anymore? The like, amazing thing shirts? is, though, the, the guy, no one ever saw someone that didn't have pants on. So the person knew they were going to shit themselves. <laughs> In fact, two pairs of pants. There was a potential issue. Yeah, they, they woke up in the morning, ate something bad, and were like, I'm gonna need I'm to bring a pack pants. A <laughs> pair of pants. I like to think that they shat themselves in the toilet. Shat themselves, went to the toilet, and said, 
they make in <laughs> that's, what, that's the other thing that that's I was thinking of is like they got caught short ruined their pants and would call it up and be like bro I need you to bring me your pants if you ever tell anyone about this I'll fucking kill you bro so yeah, that's um, that's Australian YCS in a nutshell. Jerking the pants man top. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was why he shit himself. Because he's going so well, he's like, I can't leave the table, can't leave the See, table, can't leave the table, can't leave the table. Totally. See, the problem with that is it happened way too early in the day. It happened before the end of round one. Oh. Before oh. round one, no. Before the end, before of, the end of round one. It happened super early in the day. <laughs> Maybe someone was thought they were going to do really well and then shit themselves when they <laughs> lost. Maybe they got nibbed and were like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What was that expression? Um, back to San Jose for a minute. Um, I also saw they had uh, the giant and not-so-giant cards. Um, oh, I haven't checked those. No, we're no, not, I saw. Oh, we're yeah, not yeah. going to get them for us. I guarantee no, that's, it. No, that's another thing that we won't get. 400 they, person YCS gets it. But they have uh, Doodle Dino, the big one. Uh, and Blazing Cartesia. I want the Cartesia. Both the giant and not so giant. Yeah, Jumbo. I want the Doodle Monster Giant cards. They're so good. I think Cartesia will look really good. Cartesia would look sick. Yeah. And it would be worth money because woman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Where's my Doodle Dinosaur Giant card? <laughs> I'm um, buying the Giant card this year. So. Syndicate is. Okay, We're so, buying it, Jake. Yeah, I'm in, for sure. We're buying it. Um, if you win it, we're buying it. Yeah, Raph, <laughs> we're buying it. He's coming this year. Is Raph coming this year? Yeah, yeah. He already posted asking if people want to trade their um, cards for foreign language cards. Do you reckon we can con him to go in a Hooters again? Who's this? We. Uh, Raph Nevin. Oh. I mean, Australians. It didn't seem difficult to get him the Hooters last time. I, d- I, d- I don't think it would be. I, oh, yeah, I that's don't... another story from the last YCS. Uh, Raph Nevin got super drunk and then did the chicken dance on the bar at Hooters. <laughs> Being serious. <laughs> what the fuck? It was a good time. We was there. this day one or day two? Oh. It was after day two. Okay, so it was after he beat me for the giant. Yeah, card. he was probably celebrating with the money that we paid him for the giant card. True. Yeah, I lost in the finals to Raf Nevin, and he'd never uh, looked at invoked Kaliga before. <laughs> I, I summoned. I just remembered like... something that I'm going to tell you not off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know oh, what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, not a great deal of other news. Um, Nothing got announced. We'll get it. No, uh, they announced the YCS in France, huh? February. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this man's on point of his news because it's Euro news. Ah, yes. And it's one day after the release of Fortnite Cronova. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so in theory, then there's going to be a ban list between our YCS and theirs. I think yes. that depends on how our YCS goes. If it's still dominated by tier, probably. But I feel like after Fortnite now gets released, there are not going to be as many tier elements as now. Yeah, I suppose Castrila comes yeah. into the meta a bit more. I but think, that deck gets shut down by Lancia. I think we yeah. might see a ban list like start of February. Like I think we might have an effective February 1st ban list. Would make sense. If I get it right, I get it right. Mark my words. <laughs> um, Any other news? I don't all? think so, but we do have some questions. So, uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in and say hi and ask us questions. Short podcast today. Unless these are good questions. <laughs> There's a couple. Uh, uh, so, the first one comes from uh, Mira. Uh, what do you think will be a structure deck in the future? Alternatively, what archetype do you think would make a good structure deck? Trap tricks. No. <laughs> I actually hate the idea of trap tricks becoming the meta again. I love the idea. Like, you would. Feel the <laughs> I think I'm going to play Labyrinth at the, for the next locals. Yeah. Full of floodgates just for you. Floodgates and women. It's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> <in Yu-Gi-Oh. laughs> I have no problem with Trap Trick being meta because Dragon Maid outs it really easily. Everything circles back to like one of two things. Well, yeah, they only get a normal summon. You just go, your normal summon has been added. You can't make Sarah. Oh, you set a bunch of back row. I'm going to remove one of them now. And then you've got two left for your turn. Too bad. You've not read any of the Trap Trick cards, have you? What? Do they not do that anymore? No. 
They very much don't do that. So anymore. it's not just Sarah set four pass? No. No. Oh. It's like, it oh, feels no, like... you have to learn. <laughs> I don't want to have to learn. It feels fair will make you normal summon an additional times. Oh, I have to bounce both of them? Damn. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, so yeah, what else do we think would be a good structure deck coming forward? Or what do you think they're likely to do? Well, actually, what structure decks have they not retrained yet from that era? Uh, the water one and the fire one. The fire one. The Was one with Viking? the big fire line on it. They also needed to still do fi Vikings, yes. Yeah. But they didn't do the fire king, the fire dino one? Uh, the fire flying one? Was that hazy flame? It's no. It's just fire deck. Yeah, it was just... Oh, it was just fire monsters fire back into each and other. And a water deck, yeah. These I've were got, like... I've got one. Yeah, they came out like 2005. Hmm. Six? Oh, the one with like the Daedalus. Yes. Oh, the water one had Daedalus. Yeah, yeah, they came out at the same time. They never did those ones. They skipped them. Um, I know those actually were really important side to me. They were like one of the last ones that I bought before I was like, I'm going to buy a less Yu-Gi-Oh product. And then a few years later, they were like, Synchro Summoning. And I was like, I am going to buy no <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh product. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know. See, everyone would want me to say Dragon Maid, but there's not enough new Dragon Maid cards they could give us unless they gave us a new Dragon form and a new Dragon Maid and Chambers Dragon form all in the one thing. Nah. <laughs> need to calm down. <laughs> they still need to give me those cards, man. They, they don't. They do. I, don't know, I would like like a Burning Abbey's uh, structure deck. That would be cool. This is falling <laughs> so to type. He's wanting Dragon Maid cards. <laughs> you're wanting Burning Abyss. Invoked structure deck. Invoked or, structure there really what? isn't anything that you can give Invoked that would not make it stupid. You know what? Infernity. You know in the new set, uh, the one where they're going to reprint the Baron? Yep. Oh yeah. There is a spell for Infernity. Yeah, they did Infernity support in like a couple of sets ago yeah it wasn't good but well, it was there. the one the spell that's coming out is actually pretty good so you know i hope for infernity supports mm. that would be a cool cool way to go yeah D one thing i would like them to do it's not something that they've got on the horizon but it will be eventually is to stop putting structured x into sets to make us buy shit sets they decided to do that years ago jake and they <laughs> ain't turning back <laughs> they ain't turning back because they only ever do it with the good stuff Yes, it's because it's good like, stuff. Like branded's like the one exception. That's the one deck that they're like, you can just have this. This one's fine. That was honestly surprising because <laughs> timeline wise, that was right where they were supposed to do it, and then they did it with fucking uh, Dragoonity instead. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> See, if they're gonna re if they're gonna put a structure deck into like a set for us to buy, at least make it something that like isn't going to super impact the meta because i don't like being pushed into buying ship product because it's like it's got some good stuff in it yeah have they announced us getting the trap trick structure decks yet no no i think it's, it's... that's the one that's getting put into the product then that's definitely it it makes sense too because it's women cards so people will buy them and I... they announced it maxi in maxi reprint yeah, yeah it's but... definitely getting put in that set then yeah because yeah. <laughs> it means that they don't have to worry about reprinting and also the artifacts Lance here, yeah, so it's... Yeah, chuck it in. Yeah. Um, what Does that mean we... Maxi unbanned? No. Mm -hmm. No, they'll just change it for us. It'll be like confronting C. Or they just don't give us the structure deck. Or hiding C. <laughs> hiding the structure deck. Um, <laughs> or by the hunter. What, what else could we... I don't know. Next question. Oh, actually, I've decided the deck that I think could use a uh, structure deck. Um, just World Legacy. Not any of the archetypes from World Legacy. Just like a Link Spam deck that mm. isn't specifically Cybers. But one of YCS doesn't need more support. How long ago was that, Ben? 2018. February. It was a cold end of summer, <laughs> and the van list came and took away my spirals. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, it's okay, I will play Gen Knight FTK. And then fucking that one of YCS. Um, my answer is Nimbles. War just Charlies. A nimble. War Charlies. Wait, so you're effectively just asking for a sprite structure deck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Nimble structure deck. All the Nimble cards individually are really cool. Give us something to put it together. Yeah. Mm. Give us spells and trap cards that just make the deck work. A Nimble boss monster, like three new spells and a new trap. Put it in a structure deck, 
Dom, can you just mix it with Melfi and do the same thing? No, 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 just do, do, do. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're just doing Sprite. Uh, with... <laughs> no, <what's right? laughs> no. Freudian slip. <laughs> no, it's because my brain is on the fact that you just reprint the Sprite cards in it. <laughs> like you reprint like a starter and shit. I don't know. Something. Something. Look, this is what That's we're doing. Fucking awful. You're printing it in a year and a half anyway. You just fucking do that. You reprint Sprite Blue and everything. Everyone's happy. Done. Top <sighs> in a box. All right. Top of the locals in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Next question comes to us from Rye Guy. Which archetypes do you think attract a specific personality? For example, I feel like Dun. Sorry, my thing jumped because I got a new question. Um, for example, I think Dino generally attracts Dino dude types. <laughs> <laughs> dino dudes yeah look to be fair we have generally categorised <laughs> people that play dino as the dino dude remember dino kid yeah yeah I do remember dino kid someone dropped um, a spiral card on him and it he was me and left. <laughs> yes <laughs> it was me at my like second time ever coming to Wollongong Locals I sit down across this kid and everyone's like oh be careful uh, if you like play well he'll like throw a fit at you and I was like sure <laughs> Normal summon spiral super agent, and he was like, Oh, yeah, <laughs> and just left locals. And it was like, oh, oh. Left locals, we never saw him again. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I bricked anyway, but <laughs> sure, like, yeah, I was gonna say, Normal summon super agent is not, yeah, it's the not broadcaster, what you the want. strong hand. Yeah, I was like, I've lost if he has any disruption, and he just left. And I was like, Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I played dinos Dude. though. We've had a few, yeah, and, uh, we've had yeah. a few, <laughs> we've had a few people that we've effectively bullied out of the game. <laughs> looking back on it, <laughs> nah. Do you remember, actually, it might have been before you started coming to our locals. There was a curly haired dude who, like, um, similar sort of thing, just would like have a mad whinge against you if you ever played well, and he like threatened to start his own locals in Oak Flats Library. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he was just like, yeah, I'm going to start a locals at Oak Flats Library. And you can't play meta. And they're like, okay, cool, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I will go on that, locals. And then. Sunday fun days. <laughs> that would be <laughs> nice. And even then, you didn't. No, anyway. Um, so, yeah, <coughs> there is definitely a correlation between like the types of people, and it just comes to like the types of decks that people like to play. Um, so. I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this without sounding cruel. No, no, no. So there's. there's... And there's also like the outliers. So there's the Dragon Maid player base, and then there's Ben. Where the Dragon Maid <laughs> player base is a bunch of like pervy scumbags who cheat on camera. And then there's Ben. <laughs> um, have I ever been disproven of that fact? Mm. No, you stand correct currently. Exactly. Um, and then there's like the. Uh, how do you put it? Um, there's the Sky Striker player base. Who want to diddle uh, kids uh. and then they said, <laughs> Seb's fine. The rest of the player base want to diddle kids. And then there's the Mystic Mind player base where they actually diddle kids. <laughs> and then you have Seb. I realised like there wasn't a lot to talk about on this podcast, but you've really you've really opened us up. Yeah, yeah I have. True Draco player base. <laughs> Yeah, look, there's a lot of problems with the Yu-Gi-Oh! playbase, as it turns out. Yes, there is. Certainly is. And there's the Trickstar playbase, and... Anyway. I, yeah, I've mentioned this before, I really want them to stop printing women cards. Like, yep. it's fine for them to be female, but, like, they don't all have to be... Like, that. Yes, correct. As long as they are older. 18. In the card. <laughs> In the card. See, here's the problem, Leo. Is where they're being printed, that's not the standard. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, cringe. Um, it is. <laughs> yeah, in some regards, Ben's correct. Um, there are All regards, certain Ben's decks. correct. Um, but yeah, there is definitely a personality type that gravitates towards certain decks. Um, generally controls just like really small brain kind of things. Uh, combos, like, they want to just sort of... There's definitely a correlation, now that I've thought about it, between control and combo, in that they just want to do their own thing and they don't really want to have their opponent interact with them at all. Yeah. Because, like, the idea of combo is you just set up the most bonkers board that you can, your opponent can't play through it. And then control's like, I'm going to set up 
as many as many like say no cards so that you can't do anything. Yeah. It's just how time conscious you are, really. The people that play control are just like, I just don't have a lot of time, so I don't want to have to do all of this for you to then just beat me anyway. So I'm just going to set this full back, full back row, and then if you beat me, you beat me anyway. Yeah, control won't, they want to win without effort. Like, yeah, exactly. Too much effort. Too much effort. So control is just combo, but lazy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is. One card combo for lazy. Yes. Why would you spend seven minutes doing full U-Link Goki combo when you can just set, they can be only one and win? <laughs> Oh, we had a reply to that question too by 6i6. Oh. Uh, he says, absolutely, there is different personalities uh, correlating with different uh, sort of decks and things. Just look at the people who are attracted to Eldritch decks. <laughs> <laughs> I like Eldritch. I like the... Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. If, if, it's, skill if it's just Eldritch, it's fine. But with the other shit, mm -hmm. it's cringe. But no one ever plays... <laughs> just Eldritch. Some, like, I some... don't like, I don't mind Eldritch Synchro as like the concept that it was a year and a half or two years ago, whatever it was. That was cool. Because you just do your Synchro thing, then you set Eldritch stuff. Yeah, but branded Eldritch, you got a combo with, you can send Eldritch and Albaz. And yeah, then you're, yeah, you're yeah, going to so, 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 so that's, so that's a pretty good where's combo. The, where's the floodgates come in, Leo? Because and this, they were there. They're the other four I fucking know they were there. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> What's the next question? Next question comes to us from Paul Pelican. Uh, what are your plans for YCS Sydney? Are you guys staying in a chosen venue or just making your way to and from each day? We're staying at the Budget Ibis. Do they even Friday have Friday night locals? Venues? No, yeah, that, like, like hotels. I yeah, yeah. he's saying, yeah. Yeah. At hotels. Um, yeah, we used to get this really sick Airbnb. Um, it was like a five bedroom apartment, which just don't exist. But. Um, this one was like right near the Homebush. It was like close to the like two restaurants that were in Homebush that were open by the time we actually got out of YCS. That noodle place is so good. I yeah, the noodle place is year. good. What was it called? It was. I don't know, but I'm going to that. It was noodle some place. stupid pun name. No, Somebody I actually think pun was in the name. It was like something pun. Nut. It was nut. Okay. It had the word nut in it. Nut pun. Yeah, yeah, that was a nut pun. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Friday night. Uh, we're, we're staying at Budget Ibis so Friday night Lobby Locals will be there I'll be playing Say hello. not the deck that I'm playing uh, actually I don't want to bring two decks I'm bringing two decks I'm bringing Dragon Maid and I'm bringing Element, and then I'll decide on the day or I'll sell Element next week you're not going to bring Retro Fauna? oh yeah we, if they announce a Time Wizard I'm going to pack a Time Wizard deck because I didn't do that for Oceanics and if I did I would have just been given the prizes what? Anyway. Uh, but yeah, we used to get that, but now we're staying in the bed budget Ibis. Budget, budget. Uh, next question is from 6R6. Uh, uh, Dimensional Fisher and Macro Cosmos really good enough to end the T0 format, or is it pure copium? No, because not every deck can play it. And also, OCG had Macro and Fisher at 3 for ages. It didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. At all! They also had Maxi. And Maxi. So there's just like better cards than you did first. Yeah, the problem is that Macro needs a turn to set up. Yeah. And Fisher, yeah. if you go second, it's. Not... Exactly. All The issue is that all of those cards still lose to the die roll. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because they're good. Yeah, just just win. Should have brought Maxi. Um, yeah, <laughs> just throw that out. And then our last question. Oh, hang on. Why, no, is, there's more why is there a, ice cream, a milk crate below the table? It's been there for a while. <laughs> like, as in, it was here on Friday. I've only just noticed there's the milk crate in the middle of my apartment. <laughs> really? Um, this question comes from Crobat5. Uh, Crobat V? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, do you think that Lyrilisk Pure or Lyrilisk Try might start to uh, start top cut events again now that oh, there's definitely. Recital Starling? Uh, how um, does that take handle mills? Bad. No. Uh, <laughs> it depends on what they mill. Like, if you mill multiple of them too soon, then they have to hard open the revolt to get any value from it. If, the, if you mill Nerval, don't they just search? They search, but it depends on how many you mill as to whether they've got good searches left. Valid. Okay. Is it probably like, you're putting stuff in bin for them, but, like, it's only beneficial to a point. And then you crime their effect to uh, link summon by banishing, 
and then they cry. And also, Rule Carlos kind of gets the fact to sling some of the grave. No, uh, true. Or Revolt as well. Yeah, they manage the cost of the resources. completely on their setup. So if they set up really well, potentially. Yeah. But, yeah. And then that. the Shizu will shuffle back their material from Grave, so... Oh, yeah, true. If you have, like... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So they're banished for cost, though. Yeah, but you do be before. Yeah, you just... Uh, on you, summon, you just go, you look at back it, you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You look at a kit on the big field and you just go... Woo. <laughs> so but bad. Maybe not now. We might see one or two yeah. in, like, top 64. I have, I have seen replays and things of, like, an updated list and they can make Herald now, which would make the match against tier element kind with, of with busted. Or... Uh, no, it's the uh, Fable... Um, Cerberus. 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 If it's dis uh, yeah, so you okay. discard it off of... Um, I can't remember their names. The level 2 one. Yep. Keep, keep, to keep, summon. Keep, keep. And then because it's discarded, it summons back. Okay. Cool. So anyway. that's potentially a thing that they can do. Um, but yeah, you might see a couple get up there, but beyond that, not really sure. Um, and then it looks like our last question is from Naya. Uh, been told this is going to be a good question. Uh, if you could copy and paste Ben's moustache <laughs> onto any card, what would it be? Chamber Dragon Maid. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's a hard question. Hard question. Eldritch the Golden Lord. <laughs> when he's in this pose. Yeah. Oh, probably sassy pose? On the Doodle Dragon stair go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a great Stay place up. to put that. <laughs> um, what would I put it on? Alistar. <laughs> I think I would put it in on Alistar. <laughs> More so as a disguise. I'd also put him in like big thick glasses. So he's like, hmm, I'm not a dark type in grave that you can banish with bestials. <laughs> no. Look at me. <laughs> Definitely not. You also can play six copies. <laughs> That'll go well with my invocation too. Uh, but that does seem to conclude us for today. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you are listening to us on streaming services, feel free to favorite us. If you're watching us on YouTube, like and subscribe. Join the Discord, and we will catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.